So it is Rev's alternative at a much affordable price. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey, what up, decisive marketers? We're going to be talking about sure SEO today. So it does a couple of things, right? It does, you know, your backlinks lookup. Uh, it does your SEO audits. It tracks your ranking uh, and a couple of other stuff as well, right? So it looks like quite an interesting tool. And I think that it's kind of on track to be something good I would say so uh, you know before I dive into sure SEO be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so here we are in sure SEO uh, this is the dashboard right here um, I have not added any rent tracking in there I just kind of added my website uh, and that's all I have done with it okay so right here this is uh, I guess where your rank tracking is so you can start adding your keywords and see uh, how you're doing okay next is competitors so this is what you know what we all want right so i mean rank tracking is great but there are much better rank tracking tools out there such as nozzle which i've reviewed before you know there's also rank tracker there's also true ranker there's also uh you know a couple of other stuff uh, like sub watch as well right so these are all uh, very good, uh, you know, rank trackers. Uh, but of, and and uh, you know they have way more limits as well. But we can, but for sure SEO, right? So what we want to be using it is for for it to kind of replace Ahrefs or you know maybe Samrush for us, right? So we're gonna jump in and kind of take a look at these uh, uh, you know website right here. So we're going to put in, uh, maybe let's put in, what's a website? Okay, let's just kind of put in uh, com, and then we'll search the keywords, then we can see, okay, so one thing uh, bad, I would say bad, in the sense that they only have this website, so in terms of competitors index keywords, all right, it's uh, you know these these uh, countries in here that works with sure SEO. So you know, for example, if I want to look up like what kind of keywords that index in Singapore, I can't do that because they don't have they don't currently support that country. Okay, but we can see right here. Let's say for pitchground.com, we can see uh, these are the uh, keywords that have a lot uh, that, that they are indexed for right so you can see uh, for example honey extension chrome they are ranked number five pitch brown is number, ranked number one of course it's, it's their own brand right and they've got flex clip which is uh, ranked number 10 right here uh, griddle pitch anything you know feedback which is ranked seven uh, eva boot you know a lot of uh, uh, some of these keywords right here okay so some of these have very good such volume effect so i was quite surprised that you know, eva boot is doing quite well right here okay all right grand card on codes uh you know blue group you know so some of these uh, have a lot of such volume uh so you can kind of uh, estimate their clicks here as well so uh you know honey it gives them the most clicks then we got pitch ground we got flex clip we've got chrome extension honeys uh, you know, griddle, uh, pitch anything, you know, so as it kind of uh, goes down from there. Okay, so uh, so that's the keywords. Next is keyword gap. So you can put in, uh, this is my website. So for example, if I were to put in, uh, you know, pitchcrow.com and dailymirror.com and dailyfire.com. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, they, it only supports this country at the moment. So we're going to choose the uh, you know, US and let's kind of take a look. So it's going to pull out, uh, you know, the, the keywords. So for example, uh, these are the keywords that I don't have on my website, which is Restro Food, uh, Software as a Service Ideas, Slazer API Key Free, uh, you know, so we're going to kind of sort by volume, maybe that will be much better. So we can see right here, vector stocks, stocks vectors, uh, remove BG, restreaming. Okay, so these are the keywords that I don't have on my website, you know, flex clip, fastest VPN, fastest VPN, uh, AI upscaler, shopper, 
uh, so shocked. I'm pretty uh, impressed that the uh, there's so much as well for them. Okay, uh, blue group, wood fans, fronter, uh, you know, and so on, right? Okay, like dark soup, uh, and so on, right? A lot of uh, tools here. Uh, post planner, AI copywriter, you know, Asara, and all that. Okay, so these are the keywords that I don't have on my website. Then, if I want to expand to what they have, I would then uh, try to put in, you know, try to write content around them. Okay, so next is Backlinks Explorer. So you can see here. So these are the okay sorry this is my website so we're going to try and track let's say we're going to track uh, this website here Peace Crown is going to create a report okay and it's going to pull out all the backlinks that they have so here we go Apollo Digital dot IO uh, Giris Simbler whatever is that Niche Pursuits uh, and so on, uh, my blower post on SEO, right? Uh, Slazer and all that. Okay, so these are the websites, right? Uh, first sales, only. all these are linking to uh, you know their website right here. So you can see they have 370 backlinks, okay? But of course, if you look at this number, it's actually very little, and I just personally you don't think that this is everything uh, you, you know because if I were to use uh, say SE ranking okay, so we're going to try and research competitor and you can see the difference but I would say the good thing is that it seems like the uh, you know the, the data is it's not that it's not accurate at all it just kind of grabs the newer backlinks because uh, it just it's a new software, right? So it's just kind of the the I, I kind of feel like they just started to uh, you know build their backlinks. Sorry, uh, build their their you know scrape these data off you know the internet. So that's what they have, right? But I think that it's quite updated. But I can see you know it's missing out a lot of backlinks for sure. It's like. 3.1 thousand uh, and this is 3, 370 right so the the difference is definitely very big at the moment but I think that the you know the, the links that they have if you see if I were to click into the back links of uh, infisproud.com you can see that they have uh, I mean it's gonna take a while because they've got 23,000 over backlinks right so if I were to click into like backlinks and maybe just kind of filter them to the newest uh, newer links right you can see uh, that they seem to capture it so you see the first one right here Apollo Digital uh, it kind of grabs it okay and then uh, you know uh, new drop Okay, well, I mean, it's not as extensive as uh, SEO ranking, which is you know one of the best SEO tools around, right? I don't have uh, access to Ahrefs anymore, uh, but you know, you can see that. Uh, uh, you know, SE ranking seems to be quite updated with the, the data, but this is just to kind of give you a uh, comparison, right? But of course, uh, you know, Sure SEO is offered at a much better pricing at the moment, so you you can use this uh, as an example and kind of uh, as a reference and see if this is you know worth your effort to, I mean, worth the money to make use of uh, Sure SEO. Okay, so I, I personally think that it's quite alright because they seem to still get decent uh you know 
they aren't here. Okay, so next we have uh, what else? Uh, current competitors. Okay, so you can track uh, you know competitors keywords as well. Uh, I don't uh, because of my plan, I don't have access to this feature itself. And I can see historical competitors ranking as well. Next is research, so they have keyword uh, research, right? So uh, once again, it only supports these countries. So they definitely need to uh, work, uh, you know, support, start supporting more countries. Right? So I'm just going to put in a term that I just kind of searched today, and we will kind of see how it works. Something seems off right here. Okay, it seems like it's not uh, working right now. So that's a pity. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a new tool, right? We, you know, we may want to uh, give it some time. Maybe they have some issues that they need to iron out. So next is competitors keywords. Uh, let's see, which is funny. I'm not sure why this is right here because they do have a competitor keywords uh, feature right here. Okay, maybe I have to grab one of these. Okay, wait, something is wrong. Something is weird right here. Something weird is going on. Okay, so this is working. Maybe I gotta type it again. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, but I was able to search earlier. So I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, so it seems like they do have some issues. So we'll wait on that. Right? Okay, so next is a uh, keyword gap. Uh, we have that already indexed page. Okay. So let's see how this works. It doesn't see anything. So. Working here as well, okay. So that is uh, interesting. Okay, it looks a little uh, weird here. Okay, let's try the keyword explorer and then keyword ideas again, right? Let's see. Hopefully, this works now. Okay, so it works. Uh, I guess maybe it's something off a little bit with the uh, okay. So we can see right here it says virtual assistant. Uh, it has twenty seven point one thousand. Okay, but if you were to search in SE ranking. Okay, so the US. Virtual assistant. Okay, it has forty point five thousand. Okay, so it's virtual assistant jobs that has that much, but virtual assistant itself is forty point five. Okay, so it seems a little off right here, but uh, maybe the numbers are slightly leaning towards conservative numbers okay so like how to become a virtual assistant virtual assistants okay. yep so anyway uh so that's why it is um i guess it may not be very reliable at the moment okay uh and then the average cpc so it says four dollar thirty three cents right here this says fifteen dollars and 69 cents okay so that is
definitely a discrepancy right there. Let me just close this. Okay. So index page. Okay, I I don't think this this works at the moment. So site backlinks. Okay, so this is where I can see all my backlinks, right? So these are all the links, uh, you know, that is linking to my website. Okay, and then you can see site history. It doesn't seem to have my previous data at all. This kind of says like how many backlinks and referring domains I have. So what else do we have? Uh, okay, so backlinks, backlink explorer. So this is the same as the competitor uh, menu over there. So of course the UX needs to be improved a little bit right here. Uh, and then we've got this backlink checker i guess this is kind of for you to check if the backlinks are working maybe i'm not really sure what this is okay i'm gonna click on submit okay so this is actually for you to monitor your backlinks that means you're supposed to put in uh pages that are linking to you so maybe we can grab one of this over here. Okay, like uh, no, not this, but my own backlinks right here. So let's see this one. Hopefully this is still up. So we're gonna go to backlink checker. We're gonna place this link in and search. Right. So it says okay. So this is uh. It's not just a backlink checker, it seems it's like a backlink monitoring. Okay, because it says it, it, it has alert, so I guess it crawls every now and then, and once it changes, then it's gonna update me. Okay, so link presence is there, right? Okay, so it's gonna inform me if you know, the links are removed or changed. And then we can do site audits as well. So it does it automatically for me, it seems. Okay, and uh, it says that I have some uh, error 404, but the rest are fine. And then uh, some warning issues, unreachable pages. Okay, so we can see like what are the big issues, right? So these are the ones, uh, you know, the pages are not there, I guess. So it's going to tell me to improve it. Okay. And then pages with issues. So I guess we can sort them right. Uh, okay, so this kind of removes it. Okay, so it tells us, like, what's the issue, no description, blah, blah, blah. Okay, like unmodified JS. So there's a particular script that could be optimized. Uh, you know, we'll come to that later on. So audit issues, audit overview. Okay, the only crop uh, thirty pages so far. So because it's kind of doing it every month like 30 which is a little slow uh, so you can increase the number if you want to and then any URL issues so like you can pick the URL and then see what the issue is so the title is too long you know and so on and then you can see pitch optimization so I guess, I guess this is like the content optimization kind of thing. So I'm just going to grab this uh, article that I have just kind of put up. And then we'll analyze. So this kind of analyze the content. Okay, so it's out. 
so there's error processing max pages optimization so uh okay anyway it's out here so it says that the page optimization score is 76 so i have to add keyword usage i have to add keywords in the keyword meta tags uh, keyword density is not enough and then the keyword in title so i actually haven't optimized this uh, article at all i just kind of put it in so next is you can check the keyword density and see like on your website what is i think this is very useful to kind of tell you what's happening on your website okay right i think this is quite useful and then directory submissions i'm not really sure what this is so you can pay i guess and submit your site to this directories so you can create them and sort of add a profile i guess and then you can start submitting to these paid directories and then blog reviews so i don't think this is there yet let me just kind of put here okay, so i add this offer so i guess they have their own network of blogs that they sort of work with or something and then you get to submit your blogs there okay it, that i mean it says that it will take a while so maybe we can open it up again and check out the other features in sure seo Lastly, you know, we have the social. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it also kind of tracks your social media as well. Like how many shares you have, how many comments and likes you have. And like your Twitter. So it's not, it's not able to detect my Twitter. And then you can create some reports in here, right? Like what kind of reports you want, ranking reports, backlinks, dashboard. Uh, you know, you can create them in here. Okay, so it's finally out. We have problems collecting blocks at this time, so I guess we have no luck in here, right? So probably because there isn't any in Singapore, so I may want to like pick United States or something like that. So I guess that's all I have to share. Let's talk about uh, share SEO a little bit. Um, I think that it's a promising to, uh, you know, as compared to, for example, SEO ranking or maybe even brand overflow that I reviewed in my channel. Uh, I think that share SEO, if you are really tight on a budget, uh, I think that it's a good investment to kind of see where they go. Uh, it has you know the backlink tracker and all that but of course I uh, uh, you know it, it kind of works like an Ahrefs alternative uh, even though the data may not be super accurate but it's going to improve over time as they start to crawl more information of the internet uh, I think that you know it's an early stage product but it's definitely moving somewhere right? so it's uh, you know the, i think that they spend some effort into their ui as well uh, like the logo the website so definitely this is a tool uh, if you're really looking to invest uh, you know into a very affordable entry level tool right now then go for sure seo right so i guess that's all i have to share about sure seo 
if you like this, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up if you know anyone who could benefit from the show as you. Be sure to share this video with them. Lastly, uh, I would love to hear what you think about show as you in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.